I had also heard that Rita Farrow has been making a lot of phone calls down south for the town, and I'm sure you all appreciate that. I don't know if I'm here. A point of order. I will move on now. Point of order. I will move on. Point of order, Mr. Chairman. I do not make contact for the town. Okay, very good. Thank you, Rita. Let's keep it down. Yes. Okay. Jeannie, I am still waiting. I don't think you're entitled to it. She's not entitled to the client attorney privilege. No, not at all. No. Under 91A. Are you telling me that the lobbyists are a client attorney? Let someone speak, Rose. Let the law have a time, please. I'm not saying the law was out of bounds. Emails from our town attorneys to us that come in, attorney, client, we're not going to release under 91A. Under 91A, if there's something that we take out of the lockbox, we have 72 hours to release it. That's how the law reads. As a matter of fact, it's up on that door over there. Okay. Okay. So I know that I would look at my emails, and if it says attorney, client, I haven't even thought about printing it. As a matter of fact, I've deleted it because I know she has a hard copy. You have nothing else from the lobbyists except this one. I have a whole heck of a lot of stuff from the lobbyists. Well, then how come I don't have it? Because if it included the attorney and if it was strategy, then it is not responsive to your request, Rose, and you don't have to release that, do you, just because you've asked for it. And I think the letter went out a little prematurely, and we did double-check, and you did receive a stack of emails that was responsive to your request. I did not. I did not. This is the only email that I got. I came in and picked it up. You should have some in the mail because we mailed some more out on Thursday. So there are more emails in the mail to me. So the letter that came and said, I have no emails, come and look at the public file, is incorrect. I believe that was premature. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. Okay. And I would like Jeannie to respond to the fact that she has accused me of voting down an amendment that would have given us in 220 days money for NCDs. No, and I didn't accuse you of anything, Rose. Excuse me, Jeannie, but you sat there and said, because you and Flo and this one and that one voted against this amendment, the town now will not be getting money in 220 days. So I would like to see that amendment. Okay? I would also like a response from the board on the $38,000 insurance claim. On what happened with it. Was it filed? Did we get the money? Are we getting the money? We'll start with that. My third thing, or my fourth thing that I'm coming before you with, is about this policy that you have, where it says everybody has to be nice and polite and everybody has to be congenial with one another and everybody has to do this. Well, it's my understanding from looking at the tape on Channel 2 that when I walked out of this room last week, Howard Friedman called me an animal. So if the policy doesn't apply to the board, then I don't think it should apply to the public. And I would like an apology from Mr. Friedman for calling me an animal. We're looking forward to meeting him one more time. Did you call me an animal? I don't recall. Did you watch Channel 2? No. Well, I can show you the video, Harold. If you call me an animal, will you apologize? I'd like to see it first, and then I'll be able to make a decision. Fine. Right now, without seeing it, I'm not going to agree to a thing. Fine, and I will get you a copy of that tape from Channel 2. Does this mean, Rose, that you're also going to go back and apologize to everyone else in the crowd that you made disparaging remarks to or apologize to the board for disrupting our meetings on a regular basis? You consider me disruptive. I consider the government a working government. Okay. Well, the one, two, three, four, fifth thing I have here. One at a time, please. I'd like to have a four. This is who's talking right now. I'm going to have to respond. Let her finish. I don't think I'm going to respond. The fifth thing on my little list here is that we were offered a leak sucker or blower, whatever you want to hear, by NCS. And this town doesn't have enough class to respond to them. If someone offers you a gift, you need to respond and say, no, thank you, or yes, thank you, or we're not going to do that. 
And it seems funny to me again, as I, as I dig deeper, that last year, Dan Tucker was allowed to talk to NCS and get $5,000 worth of asphalt uh, paid for, and no one said boo. I and that's accurate, Rose. That is very accurate. That's accurate. It's very accurate. It's a point of order. I don't believe that. Yes, not, and did uh, not Dan Tucker not go to NCS and say, are you going to raise our tipping fees because we're doing the budget? And he, they said, no, we will not raise them this year. So that's all I have to say. But, you know, there's, something's going on here. If Dan Tucker can do this, and, you, and nobody else can do that, and he can call me an animal, and I have to apologize for things. I'm really sorry with the way you think you're running the thing. I'd like to say something. Say to anybody you want. Rose, I've been requested to apologize for a hearsay word or comment according to you. On May 19th, when you were escorted out of here, I'd like to have an apology from you. But go F yourself. If I said it, I apologize. Well, I'd like to have a written apology, and I'd like to have it sent to both the periodicals and papers no. that are here. No, because no. I never said it. I said if I said it. I have a right to say this. Mm -hmm. She has no right to accuse me of saying I, I called her an animal. I know what she said. Go ask yourself. I know that in four languages. And I didn't misinterpret that phrase. If you watch both videos, Oh, that means if you watch both videos. Great, and it wasn't audible. When she was walking out, the... I did, Daryl. Yeah. Okay, I did not see that. And I was here last year when you called her an animal. Okay? We're not referring to that. Okay, I'm just saying, if you can back, that it's not audible. You know what, folks? Let's talk about that. Video. And this is not the business of this board. Correct. We're digressing. You and this are. is not the business Correct. of this board. Okay. And unfortunately... So Unfortunately, we are allowing someone to make it that business, and we are not doing what we are supposed to do. So we need to get on with the business. Correct. Next on the agenda is the next to the street.
Okay? So you don't let the public know okay. things. Let them know everything. I'm not going to Hey, let, let them finish. Before I get to you, uh, before I can say finish, I want, like I said, to stick to the fact that I'm not happy to share any public information with anybody because I feel it supports my case. I would appreciate, Mr. Mr. Uvalda, Thank you. if you could keep people from interrupting me just as they, if you had kept people from interrupting other people. Great. All right? Can you do that? Yes, that was good. Because, because the last meeting, I got interrupted by five different people. I know. I, just, thank you. I will try my best. Mm -hmm. I will feel much quicker if I'm not interrupted. Okay. Um,